Okay, here's an example of, um, it's, boy, it, it's not quite zero. There's a bit of a wind shadow on the water. There's just a few very, very small ripples. Um, but uh, if that was a perfect mirror, that would be Beaufort zero. So this is the kind of thing um, that uh, there still is a little bit of wind. Just this little patch of water is in a bit of a wind shadow. So it's, uh, um, it's not absolutely zero, but it's, if this was a perfect mirror, that would be Beaufort zero. Okay, well, we're, we're going to talk Beaufort scale today. And uh, this would be a Beaufort level one. So uh, ripples and uh, level one is uh, between one and three knots. So we can see, you know, there is a couple little sections over there that are got a more like a mirror like finish. And um, that would be closer to a zero. If the whole water surface was like that, that would be a zero. Uh, but this is, is definitely a, probably a Beaufort. Uh, oh, there's a gust actually that, uh, you know, that could be a two, but uh, uh, this just gives you a bit of an idea. So. Beaufort 0 is absolute calm. Beaufort 1 is 1 to 3 knots. Beaufort 2 is 3 to 6 knots. So this just might be right on the early edge of 3 right now. Um, and uh, we find it's, uh, I find it's useful to, you know, I was down at the sailing club the other day and there was a buddy down there going, I don't know about the Beaufort scale, so, so here we are. Okay, so we are um, we are just into um, Beaufort one is Beaufort zero is dead calm. Beaufort one is one to three knots. Beaufort two is three to six, and uh, Beaufort three is seven to eleven. And um, at about seven knots is when you first start to see the very first white caps. And we're on, uh, we're just on the verge right now of, I did see a couple of white caps here in the gust. So we're at about six knots of wind right now. And uh, when it, when the wind gusts over seven, that's when we then we form the white cap. So when we get the next gust, we'll uh, we'll have another look. Okay, so we are starting now to uh, it's just the odd. Just the very beginning of white caps, which is the start of Beaufort 3, which is 7 to 11 knots. So uh, we're right at, you can just see the odd little, where just the crest just starts to roll over. And, uh, that's the beginning of Beaufort 3. So we're right, we're just seeing the odd little roll over here. And uh, the very beginning of Whitecaps. That is the beginning of Beaufort 3. Okay, so here we got um, Beaufort 4, which is 11 to 15, um, see out there we got white caps are quite filled in. And uh, so this would be the Beaufort, uh, Beaufort 4. And uh, you see a lot, you know, the, the white caps are quite filled in. And then further out, 
Uh, you can see the boats out there. Uh, you know, that's got to be Beaufort 4, maybe even with dusting. Uh, uh, it's quite filled in out there with the white caps. You can see so that might even be Beaufort 5, uh, which is uh, you know, 16 to 20. Beaufort 4, you know, 11 to 15, we got white caps quite filled in, and it's probably even uh, Beaufort 5 out there where we can see the white caps really filled in out in the middle out there, which is uh, 16 to 20 knots. And uh, we got about 3 kilometers of fetch here, so we got kind of maybe about 2 foot chop coming in here. Um, got down here so I'm not sure how long it's been blowing but just to remind me that the waves are uh, the wave size is a function of the wind the fetch which is the distance that they're blowing over as well as the, the length of time that it's been blowing so that looks like it's uh, 16 to 20 out there which is over 5 and uh, in here uh, right next to the shore so you know, that would be uh, you know, both for four for sure, uh, quite uh, well developed. Okay, so here's uh, another shot of uh, both for four. This would be the 11 to 15 knots. Uh, you can see uh, the uh, white caps are. Uh, quite prevalent. They're not completely filled in, but um, the, uh, you can definitely see uh, there is a lot of them. Uh, and it's probably uh, out there, uh, in the middle out there, is probably um, quite a bit more filled in. That's probably Beaufort 5, which is 16 to 20. Uh, right here, you know, we can see uh, quite a few white caps. That's the sort of 11 to, to 15 knots. And if you recall, uh, you know, the Beaufort 3 is the 7 to 10. So 7 to 10, 7 is where you first see the first white caps and um, they start to fill in as the wind gets stronger. And then this would be. Beaufort for 11 to 15 uh, out of interest. You know, 15 is about the minimum that the short board wind surfers go out. So this is uh, the gusts would be strong enough for a short board wind surfer. And uh, but this would be a, a great, great win for, uh, for a dinghy sailing day. Okay, so we're, uh, this is uh, Beaufort 5, 16 to 20, um, you know, we're, uh, it's probably been blowing for maybe an hour and maybe two. Top height on the lake uh, is, uh, you know, one to two feet, white caps filled in, and uh, actually there was some pretty strong gusts. Uh, the uh, rescue boat just called the sailboats in, and uh, so that must, uh, we got kind of a gray sky here, feels like a bit of a front might be coming, um, we'll see, but uh, this is uh, Beaufort 5 with probably uh, some stronger gusts out there uh, going over uh, 20 knots, so uh, this gives you a flavor. And then once again, you really need um, local knowledge um, when you're lake sailing on the wave height uh, because of the fetch being used typically short on a, on a lake. And um, depending on uh, whether or not the, the lake reaches a steady state and is, you know, it can, the wave heights can be uh, limited by either the fetch for any wind speed, the wave heights will be limited by the fetch, 
or by the duration, you know, whichever uh, sort of comes first, if you know what I mean. Um, for example, uh, if you got, you know, uh, uh, two kilometers uh, between here and the other side, or four, let's say four, you know, maybe two miles, and um, a wave only takes, uh, you know, if a wave is traveling at uh, 10 knots, you know, it only takes 10, 15 minutes for the wave to cross the lake. So that's, that's why that's the case.